Great things never came from comfort zones, so get ready to be uncomfortable. Rip me out the plastic, I've been acting brand new. Bitches acting like they running shit, they really ran through. I spent that 500 before I ever trap you. They thought I was gonna fall off, I hate to bring you bad news. What's up, beauties, and welcome back to I Am Beautiful Hustler TV. We are back with a new video, and this is the start of our new color series. We finna get into some things, y'all, with this one, okay? But first and foremost, let's talk about this hair. Y'all know I got the best wigs on the market, and that's just on period. And this is our 13 by 4, 14 inch straight, 613 HD lace wig okay y'all and we're gonna start by coloring this wig with me using two bottles of adore and that green apple and one bottle of that cosmic yellow and adore as well and of course we're gonna do this quick fast and simple watercolor method to get this hair colored in less than 10 minutes and we're gonna move on by our day all right y'all so first and foremost i'm taking that cosmic yellow and i just used one bottle and added it into my you know poured it into my water and i'm just taking my wig with the wig brush and just dipping that wig right into that water and just brushing through it Okay, y'all. So I wanted to start with the cosmic yellow because even though the green apple does give you like that beautiful, a little splash of lime color, I still wanted to see if it will make a little difference with me using that little uh, greenish yellow first and then adding the green apple. And it came out exactly how I wanted it. Not too dark, not too light and just right. So after I finished dipping it and I got it this color with the cosmic yellow, I'm going to go back in with that green apple and add it into my water and re-dip that wig until I get that color saturated all over my wig. And once I am done with that, I will go ahead and shampoo and rinse out the wig, blow dry it, pluck it, and show you guys how I pre curl my wig before installing. And just in case you guys were wondering on where you can purchase your wig, just make sure you check the description details down below. My website is always listed at the bottom of every video, so you can use that link to book an appointment with me to purchase your products or to purchase your wigs as well, okay? So make sure you do head over to the description box down below. My website is www.ibhslays.com. So if you ever need to purchase anything, just make sure you guys use that link. Like I said, once again, I have the best hair and products on the market and you do not want to miss out on these things because the better the quality the better the install the better the product the better the wig install so make sure y'all shop with your girl And this is what the wig looks like after we are done washing and rinsing. HD lace, small knots, just how we like it with that pre-plucked hairline. So I'm going to go ahead and blow dry this wig. And I did go ahead and pluck it. And this is what it looks like after doing all of that. Yes, color, get into it. So y'all know we about to slay. But before we get into the slay, I just want to show y'all how full... This is a 14 inch wig. Do y'all see how full this is? Okay, baby. We don't do no thin wigs over here at the BH Slate. That's just not what we do. If you want your wig thin, go shop with somebody else. But over here, baby, we don't have to add no bundles, no none of that. Okay, we got the best hair, like I said. The best hair, the best lace. And it's going to curl. It's going to be soft. It's going to color. It's going to do everything it needs to do to give you the rawest install of your life. Okay? And don't forget the products because your wig need to be secure. 
and that's on period, okay? But we're gonna go ahead and get into styling this wig. So I am gonna style my entire wig on a mannequin because y'all already know if you do your own wigs, installing your hair and trying to style it on your head is very difficult. So if you can, it's best to style your wig before placing it onto your head. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and start with my side part and I'm gonna section off my baby hairs as well and just pull those sections out of the way. And then we're gonna get into, you know, hot combing the roots down, making sure the wig is nice and flat. Then I will go in with my T3, uh, T3 curler, curl up this whole wig and then I'm gonna pin curl it because I did let my wig sit overnight in the pin curls and then install it the next day. So. Very simple, very self-explanatory. I'm just gonna let y'all watch me get to work. Um, I will be using my T3 curler, as I mentioned, and the only products that I'm using, of course, is my Glam Wax Stick and also a little heat protectant so we do not burn the hair and stain up the color. So right now I'm sectioning the hair about into sections. So I'm parting out my front section from my back section on both sides because I like to curl all the hair in the back one direction, like towards the back. And then of course with the front sections, I like to curl them away from the face. So to make this so much easier, I'm just gonna go ahead and part those sections off. In the section that I will be using for my bang, I already have it clipped up and out of the way. And to get, you know, like to get the best curls and to make sure your hair is really like curled all the way through, I am gonna go section by section, starting from the bottom and just curling this hair up row by row. Not one single row at a time, like one single track, but you know, a few tracks at a time, but just creating little smaller sections and then curling them up. And yeah, so just watch how I curl this wig up and then we will get into uh, part two, which is the, well, part three, which is the install. And when I tell y'all this color is giving, listen, 
by far my favorite color to ever do on myself is always like the lime green like the green be giving on the chocolate skin like no tea no shade honey the color on the chocolate girls be giving so if you one of my brown sisters don't be feeling like oh i can't wear no color i'm gonna look a mess that's no do your big one okay because they love the color it's just something about our skin the color just be giving okay the features be giving the color be giving the skin be giving like real black girl magic and that's on period okay so i'm just gonna go ahead and finish curling up this whole wig i'm starting from the top well i started from the bottom now i'm at the top and i'm just curling everything still like towards the middle of the head if that makes sense like i'm just curling each section in the direction that i want it to fall so this coming towards my right side i'm curling it back towards the center and the same thing with the opposite side and like i said y'all take your time and just curl up your sections it just makes everything so much prettier when you drop the curls down and you comb everything out like it will be curls everywhere just giving luster and bounce and this wig is so soft when i tell y'all best wigs best wigs like full thick pre-plucked hd small knot soft like my clients and my customers listen loving the quality okay loving it And now I have made it to the top. I'm gonna to go ahead and curl that up as well. I did my baby hairs on both sections and the wig is curled up. So what I'm gonna do now is take all those little sections and take some duck clips and just clip it all up because I did day one for my coloring and pre-styling of my wig and day two will actually be doing my makeup. You know, putting on my outfit and actually installing the wig just so I don't tire myself out and I wanna be able to have the full energy to bring you guys the full end top quality content okay camera is clear color is coloring styling is styling and we profiling period so i'm just gonna take these dub clips and just kind of pin up all the curls that i created so they could sit overnight and then day two it'll be time for the install And we are done, and it's day two. What's up, y'all? The best part, install, yeah, period. 
So y'all see, I went and did my beat phase. I try to get a little fancy with the eyeliner. Y'all try to see. I try to do a little sign, sign. Not too much on me, though. Not too much, okay? So we're going to get straight into this install, and we will be using our Ruby Kisses palette, level 16, y'all. And when it comes to color hair in general, y'all, I always like to mix the two shades that's in that palette. So I am using both colors of that level 16 palette so we can get the best, most blended, melted, ultimate melt effect okay and y'all know the only way to get the best results is by using the best lace and the best products and that's on period so i added all of that foundation in the inside of my lace and as you can see just by me putting this wig on my head y'all already know the effect that it's going to give can't be nothing less than scalp baby all right so i'm just putting the wig onto my head so i can know what extra lace i'm going to cut from around the ears because we want our wig to lay completely flat on our head and we don't want it to be lifting or pulling or anything like that as you can see i still have my pins in as well and apparently where i did my part for my wig was the perfect area because it's laying exactly where i want it to lay and this just makes your job so much easier because the installing process will be a one two three when the hair is already pre-styled so what i'm gonna do is actually just slide the wig back at first i was gonna pull it all the way back but then i thought about it i don't want none of that foundation to get on the actual part of my green hair so I just kind of pulled it back a little bit and I'm just gonna go in with um, three layers of my lace mat adhesive take each layer you know spread it out add the next one spread it out let it dry next one y'all know the routine y'all know the vibes and once you get all your layers on there you already know it's time to get the meltdown going So now that I have all of my layers in, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the center first and push that lace right into that glue using my fingertips and a comb. You wanna be very, very careful because you do not wanna get foundation anywhere else on this wig but where it's supposed to be and that is on the hairline. And also for my install today, I melted it so good, y'all, with just the foundation underneath. I did not have to go in and put no foundation on top of my lace and you know that's why? Because I got that true HD lace, y'all. When you got that true HD lace, you ain't never got to do too much. It's just going to do what it's supposed to do. And that's why y'all need to click that link down below and get you a real HD top quality wig, baby. Shop only with the go. Y'all know the vibes. Come on now. Stop playing crazy. But yeah, so we melted that glue with that lace right on into that glue. And I'm just taking my fingertips, taking that comb. And now I'm going in with my blow dryer on that heat setting and just blow drying, blow drying, blow drying, blow drying, blow drying. Then we're gonna take our ultimate melt belt, tie that thing on down. And y'all know when we come back, we cutting off that extra lace. And I'm gonna show y'all this new scalp that I created because it's giving what lace. And we just took that melt belt off, and y'all can already tell the wig is finna give tea already melted. But we're gonna go ahead and cut this extra lace off and really get into this new scalp.
Like, do y'all see that? Like, let me pause you. Do y'all see that? Like, do y'all see that? That's what you call a scout baby. That's what you call a new scout baby. This came from the roots, okay? So we is getting into it, baby. We is scalping, baby. So let's just go ahead and cut all the extra lace off now that we got our new hairline. And then once we are done, we're going to add a little holding spray and get into, you know, curling and swooping the baby hairs and getting the curls all in order. And now that we got our new scalp, period, it's time to go ahead and get into these baby hairs. So what I'm gonna do is take the little, um, what do they call it? The little edge curler, hot comb, the little smaller, tiny one, y'all know. And I'm just gonna go ahead and flat iron those hairs out first. Then I'm going to cut, curl, and swoop the baby hairs using holding spray. So just flatten it out to make sure it's super easy, straight to work with. And um, like I said, then we're gonna go in and swoop up those baby hairs. I'm gonna razor it down, curl it with my edge curler, and swoop it using our holding spray. And you know, I love me some even, y'all. Y'all just know I love me some even. But, um, oh yeah, I forgot, how could I forget? The second step melting process, I'm just taking that holding spray on my fingertips and just tapping it against the lace. You don't wanna do it messy, especially with color hair, you cannot get messy, okay? So you wanna do this as neat as possible and just taking my melt belt once again and tying down that lace. But once we remove it, y'all, this time, that's when we really gonna get into cutting and curling up the baby hairs. But I'm just gonna go ahead and drop the pins so we can kinda like let them go and we're gonna go back in you know, recurl, cut the layers, because if you notice, when I uh, curl the wig up, I never cut any layers, so I'm gonna cut the layers while it's on my head, but we, we, we'll get into that, just stay tuned. And let's go ahead and remove that melt bell and let's get into the melt baby let me zoom in for y'all yes i had to keep this in real time so y'all can see the real vibes yes 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 scalp 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 get into it get into it and y'all y'all know my favorite part be when we conceal that part up but y'all stop playing with the go. Y'all know the vibes. But let's go ahead and get into these baby hairs. We done already went and like pre-flat ironed it. And just pulled it back so y'all can see. If I wanted to do no baby hairs, the hairline is already pre-plucked and nice and plucked up, okay? So I'm just gonna go ahead, take some scissors, and I'm going to cut them nice and short, about an inch or so. And then I'm gonna take my little curler and curl them up and then swoop it with that holding spray.
when I tell y'all I loved my baby hairs, now let me let me say this disclaimer. First and foremost, I was never a fan of color hair and baby hairs. Like I hated color hair with baby hairs. But I don't know, y'all. Lately, it's like the baby hair has been given on the color hair. I think it's just all about your baby hair placement and what kind of baby hairs you doing with the style because every style of baby hairs can't just be for every install. Like you can't go baby hair crazy with every single install. Sometimes things are just meant to be nice and simple, okay? So I just decided to do two swoops on each side, but I loved, loved, loved the way my baby hairs came out with this install. And even with it being so bright, I just loved it. And I just loved the placement of them and everything, how they just swooped around, how they just flared. Like, oh, everything about this install had me on my toes, okay, y'all? Like, loved it, loved it, loved it. So I'm going to show you guys how I swoop both sides. But then I end up going back in on the side that I'm working on now and laying some more hair down in the front because I kind of wanted to kind of like swoop over a little bit more. But listen, do whatever you feel works best for you. And I also found out, I also found out a little hack on how to clean um, any makeup. Because, you know, sometimes when you do baby hairs and you have makeup on or you do your makeup after you do your hair, like, I got a little hack for y'all on how to clean all that makeup out your baby hairs to make them look brand new and fresh again. Okay, so stay tuned for that because I'm going to show y'all that real soon. And as y'all can see, the baby hairs are complete. Yes, yes, yes. Giving, 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 giving everything that it should. And right now, I'm just finger combing out these curls. Just finger combing, finger combing, putting my wig down in bed. Because y'all know I don't be sewing nothing down. Especially when it's on myself. Now, clients, we're going to sew it down. But on me, I change my wig like I change my drawers, y'all. <laughs> Every other day. Well, <laughs> I said that wrong. <laughs> but y'all know what I meant. Like... Change my hair too much to just be trying to sew it down like every two days. This is not happening. But yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> but yes, y'all. So this is what the hair looks like. And I want to give it a little more of a little jazziness to it. So the first thing I'm going to do is start by cutting the ends even and then cutting the hair diagonal going kind of upward and then cutting down some layers as well. Because listen, y'all, I know we love our wigs. I know we don't like cutting them up. 
But when you add layers to your style, it just gives like more of a hundred percent, like always trying to just save it. Like you got to go in and really make your hair look good. Like your hair is a reflection of you. So if your hair toe up, you toe up. Your hair laid, you raw. Period. So just go in and do what you got to do. Like, I used to always be that girl that hate cutting up my hair. And then I had to be real with myself. Like, girl, you only wear these wigs once or twice at the most. Like, you don't even repeat them. So chop them things up, baby. And then when I sell these for my refurbished wigs, it'll be easier for y'all to just put them on because it's already going to be cut and all of that. It's easier for y'all, too. Like, we pass the slaves around here. We don't keep it to ourselves. We don't gatekeep. Not over here on this channel. So, yes, after I finish my whole color series, y'all, I hope y'all going to be ready because I'm going to be selling all the wigs for this series. So, get y'all coins together because y'all know how we do over here, okay? But I'm just going to, you know, cut my layers up. I'm going to go in some more, just curling it, trying to get an idea how it's going to be. So, I'm going to cut, curl, cut, curl, cut, curl until we get our final look. Giving, okay, giving. I tell y'all, layers make a big deal, but my favorite part of them all, y'all, concealing that part. It's like once you conceal that part, it just makes the whole style pop even more. Like the part be so clean and so scalp. And take your time, take your time, because y'all know this color hair. Baby, take your time and just fluff it across out and just, ooh, Get into it, honey. Yes, 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 yes. Hitting them angles, baby. You know you bet when you can post them in the angle. Yes, so get into the slay, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed this tutorial. We gave it to y'all beginning to end. Ooh, add a little slow motion. Y'all a little bounce, 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 bounce. Yes, come on, come on, come on. And that's why I call this video a little splash of lime. Just a little, just a little lime juice. And look how full, come on now. Full, bouncy, giving. Yes, look back at it, look back. Period. So I hope you guys enjoyed this install. This is just one of many more videos to come, okay, y'all? So get ready for the Slay series, this color series. Y'all ready? Let me know if you're ready down in the comments. Let me know if y'all feeling it. If y'all feeling it, let me see y'all drop some, some green hearts, some slimes. Leave a comment. Leave a thumbs up. Let me know y'all here. Y'all tuned in. Y'all paying attention, okay? Listen, like I said, description details down below by the glue, by the melt belt. Buy the goddamn wig. Buy it all, baby. Come on now. Let's get into it. But thank y'all for watching. Make sure y'all stay tuned.